Hello pretties. In this video, we're going to show you how to achieve a beautiful, soft, creamy blur around the edges of your image just to really achieve that nice, soft center focus. Uh, and we're also going to go over how to create a uh, soft focus, kind of more like a, a tilt shift uh, enhancement using our film actions from the film collection. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in here. I have our film collection open. Okay, so we've got pretty actions film. We're going to scroll down the collection to our film add-ons. And we're going to start off with blurred edges. Okay, I'm going to press play. Now your image will be flattened. You can either press stop. I'm going to go ahead and continue. Keep in mind a snapshot of your image in a pre-flattened state will be saved and uh, in your history panel, you can access that. Let's go ahead and take a look at a real quick before and after. Look how beautiful that is. Really allows that nice soft um, blur on the edges of your image so you can really just bring your focus in towards the subject here. Now, of course, you can adjust the opacity. I'm just going to click on the layer opacity up here. I like to bring mine down to zero and just work my way up until I find that it's working best for that particular image. I like this one around 50%. Okay, so look at that before and after. Really nice enhancement um, blurring the edges. Now, of course, this would look wonderful if you had blurred uh, shrubbery here in the, the foreground, but really there's uh, a variety of different images you would be able to use this on. Again, just to bring that focus in towards the center of your image. Let's move on to our next image here. This is more of a, a creative uh, enhancement, okay? Here we're going to add the soft focus, okay? So again, this one's a lot more of a blur. It allows more of the middle of your image to be in focus. This looks really nice on landscapes, creative edits, uh, close-ups. I'm going to press continue. Okay, look at that before and after. Really, really nice. So I'm just going to bring the opacity down here and work my way up until I find it's working best for this image. I'm going to keep this one at 45%. I think that's looking really nice. And let's just take that a little bit further here. I'm going to run my jewel film vignettes and just really make this a nice, uh, beautiful edit. Let's go ahead and turn on our Ruby vignette. Okay, notice I just clicked on the arrow here to open the folder. If you have elements, you'll want to scroll to the bottom of your collection and run the open folder action. Okay, so I'm going to click on this vignette layer and again, let's go ahead and play with that opacity. I'm going to keep mine right around 24%. And as one uh, last uh, enhancement here, I'm going to run Chantilly Lace. We're gonna bring the opacity on that down a little bit as well. Okay, beautiful. We'll keep that right around 10%. So really nice, beautiful edit. One last thing here, if you want to customize the blur, maybe it's blurring a little bit too much of your image and you want to remove it from certain areas. Okay, make sure your brush is selected. Now these selections are automatically made through the actions, but just in case you wanna double check, Make sure that brush is selected and black is the foreground color. Depending on how much blur you want to remove, whether it be half, um, a little bit more than that, or all of it, I'll keep mine right around 50%. Okay, make sure that particular layer is selected in the layer mask. Okay, notice the little brackets around my uh, white rectangle here, which is our layer mask that's selected. Okay, and I'm making my brush larger and smaller using the left and right bracket keys. So I can simply paint over uh, maybe her hands here. Now I would have left that as is, but just to show you kind of how that removes the blur and notice the little uh, black lines appearing on my mask. You can see that I've taken off some of that blur there. So really, really simple to remove the blur in areas that it needs to be removed from. 
Uh, and just as simple to add it with one click of your mouse.